to the Torrance Rose Float Association. Without the volunteers, they wouldn't have a rose float. Let's go out to the first orientation to find out how the members of the Rose Float Association recruit their new members. How many newbies are there? Oh, wow. Welcome, welcome, thank you very much. From first timers to seasoned veterans, friends and families lined up at city council chambers to register for float decorating, the most important part of the rose float process. I was here last year and I really liked it, so I decided to come back and I brought a friend. Well, it's going to be cold, but it, it should be fun decorating and seeing it come together and then finally seeing it go down Colorado Boulevard on New Year's Day. Here's Alice, the, um, I think there's three float freighters here. Over 100 Torrance residents turned out to learn how they can help beautify this year's float titled the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. The Torrance Rose Float Association is always looking for a few good men and women. They say if you're interested and at least 13 years old, you can participate. Basically, we're just looking for somebody who um, wants to um, be involved in the city project and uh, have a spirit of community pride and just a willingness to participate. And of course there's one more requirement. You just have to want to have fun and um, a willingness to um, get a little dirty with glue and working on the float. The hour-long orientation explained everything from what you'll be doing to what to bring to Irwindale where the decorating takes place. When you've been uh, key, uh, cutting straw flour for five or six hours and your thumb and finger now have blisters, you learn to love these. <laughs> Every year, about 700 people volunteer. That's 1,400 helping hands. And without them, the float can't be completed. We absolutely have to have the volunteers um, to help because it just takes thousands of hours and there's no way we could do it with just 20 people. So the volunteers are critical. Now, if you're sitting at home and you've missed this meeting, don't worry. The second sign-up and orientation for Torrance Rose Float volunteers will be on November 13th. Reporting from City Hall, this is Tina Yanagimoto for City Cable 3. Well, we're going to take a short break, but when we come